Howdy, folks. Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician here. Well, I got some big things going on. As you can see, I've made some changes to my garage. I kind of got myself set up with a nice work table and workbench so I can get some more organization going when it comes to putting things together. What you're seeing here is the Nissan. It's time to finally get that yellow Nissan finished up, the rebuild done and out of here. So you'll be seeing that in the future. And then I've got, I've got everything kind of set up here where I've got a nice office space and other things like that. I've got new shelving. I got all my supplies right in front of me now where I can take inventory of it. And these are all parts that for cars that need to be serviced this week. And you know, uh, all my AC stuff is, is over here. And you know, uh, so yeah, I'm really trying to uh, invest into like organization of self-management so I can get things more professional around here and uh, go from there. One of the things that I've started doing is I've joined a website called patreon.com and what's really cool about it is um, you can get on patreon.com on my uh, Patreon website that I got uh, set up there and become one of my patrons and uh, the difference between Patreon and YouTube is YouTube only pays me for like ad hits and clicks and stuff like that. Uh, patreon.com you contribute to me for the videos that I post and the help and services that I can offer to you. One of those services that I'm offering on Patreon.com is a, is a phone and email tech support. So basically, and, and I'm still new to, to all this and I'm, I'm just getting this thing going, but what I'm seeing in the future is basically, uh, if you're in a situation where you're sitting at a shop and they've given you some huge god awful quote or you know you're just not sure about that used car that you're thinking about buying well through patreon.com and on my patreon page if you're one of my patrons for 5.99 a month uh you can have phone access to somebody like me well i say somebody like me bottom line is is you get phone access to me directly and if you find yourself in a situation where you're just not sure and you really just wish you had somebody that did this for a living every day and that fully understands automotive technology to talk to, well, I can be that person. And so at Patreon.com, uh, uh, it's a real happy medium uh, for that to happen. And everything goes to me. And then I can start taking that money and reinvesting it into things like YouTube and patreon.com and maybe one day we can even do a weekly live question and answer segment and uh, and go from there so uh, in the end I'm not gonna go commercial with this business I really want to continue working from home so I can provide you guys with videos and how to's and I also want to be support for for all of you guys so anyways where are we at well like I said we're gonna be getting the Nissan out of here uh, pretty soon we're working on that to uh, this video though um, is going to show you I've hit a snag on my Lincoln LS and um, the problem I have is I've got some stripped out bolts in the cylinder head bolt holes all right and as you can see I'm basically almost done with it here I've got my timing tensioners done I've got my oil pan done I've got my electrical work done and uh, as I was finishing this up, I got to this last cam cap here that I've got removed and um, my bolts wouldn't go back in smooth. And so from past experience, I kind of guessed that the aluminum threads probably got pulled or rolled when I uninstalled it because that's what happens and I'll explain that here in a minute. And so instead of forcing them down into there, I went ahead and stopped, pulled them back out. That's when I realized that uh, my threads in there were either rolled or pulled. And that's what happens when you have a steel bolt, basically, that is installed in a aluminum head. The bolt is a harder metal, uh, metal than the threads in the bolt hole. And so simply uninstalling it can strip it out and cause problems. Also reinstalling it can strip it out and cause problems as well. That's why you never uninstall uh, cam caps and parts on an aluminum head on a blah, on a aluminum head <laughs> without uh, with an air gun. You never you don't go in here and use air guns because you'll pull those threads 
right out with it. So that's why I always do it by hand. So I'm going to give you a closer look at that and uh, go ahead. What I need to do is go ahead and remove this camshaft again. And I'm going to have to find a tap that I can fit in there so I can clean those threads out so I can get this installed. All right. And now that I got the camshaft successfully pulled again, <clears throat> we've got better room to get down in here because I'm going to have to find a tap. And you can kind of see where my fingers are. You can kind of see the difference in those threads here. And then let's say something like those threads in there. All right, because those threads are pretty nice and clean. All right, but these threads have been, now right, you see how they're shiny like that? That's because they've been rolled. That's what we call rolled. Okay, that's what happens to aluminum. Now, I want to just mention something. Again, this is the perfect way that that new website that I joined, that patreon.com, can step in and help because through it, you know, that that monthly subscription service for $5.99 that gives you access to all my repair videos and also uh, gives you access to direct interaction with me to be able to answer all your questions and stuff. Uh, not only helps me to stay here and keep providing these videos and information for you, but also helps others because the reality of it is this is nobody's fault. All right. Again, you've got a bolt that is made out of a metal that is harder than the metal or the hole that it goes into. And you can kind of look at the end of this bolt and you can kind of see if I can get you a good focus. You can see where the threads got rolled. All right. And it just happens. And it's why you don't use an air gun or anything to remove these. You remove them by hand. And uh, that's that. So, again, it's not my fault, uh, the mechanic's fault. It's not the owner's fault. It's just something that happens. And so what needs to happen now is not only did I need to go back in and uh, remove the camshaft again, but I also need to go out and find a tap that uh, is the proper threading and proper size so I can run them down in here and uh, get those threads cleaned up. So then I can get another bolt. And you know what? I may want to go ahead and just buy a new bolt versus trying to reinstall this one. Because again, at the, at the very tip of it, those bottom threads you can see there, ones that are a little bit more shiny, have been rolled. So in a, in, in a commercial setting or a commercial shop, which I've, I've worked in commercial shops very successfully. I, I never left one with a bad taste in my mouth or anything like that. And that's where I learned 90% uh, of what I know today. Uh, you know, this, this needs to be charged for. Uh, one of my mentors that, that I talk to now that uh, owned a commercial shop for 35 years explained to me that what he would do is if his labor rate was 50 bucks an hour then and that was back in the 70s that and he ran into something like this then he would cut his labor rate in half down to 25 bucks an hour spend the hour or two it might take to go back in and fix this up accordingly not rush to get it done obviously make sure it's done right because you don't want to turn this into a, a nightmare. So long as you find the right size tap with the right threads to go in here and clean this up, there's no reason why by hand you can't take your time and just go in here and clean this up. And, and But if you can't, if you mess this up, the only other option is to remove the cylinder head and machine it or do whatever you got to do. We want to avoid that. So so again, you know, I'm going to say a couple extra hours or so, but in a shop that charges, you know, 90, 100 bucks an hour, that's a couple hundred dollars plus you've got supplies and everything else. And I think that's where people run into situations where it's a quote for like 200, but then they go in and they're actually paying 400 and stuff like that here, working here out of my home and stuff honestly so long as as the owners of this car can give me the time that I need to redo this 
get this fixed up accordingly, then all's good. You know, uh, worst case scenario, I need to go out and buy a single tap, uh, maybe at a, at some place like Tacoma Screw or something like that, uh, in order to fix this up and get this job finished. But it's not going to be a bazillion dollars. And I'm working from home. I have low overhead, and so long as I can keep the wife and kids fed, everybody's happy. I don't need to spend or charge these people a bunch of money. Patreon.com uh, through that and the $5.99 contribution once a month, it definitely allows for me to be able to do stuff like this. And so it, it's like you helping me help others help you. And it's just a cool thing. So I just wanted to point that out because, yeah, I'm not going to, you know, again, so long as as the time is available, then I'm just going to go and get this done for them and go from there. So, yeah, that's what we need to do. We need to go in and find a tap and uh, get those cleaned up. I want to see if I can somehow get you a closer look down in there. Hey, where are you at? Let's see. That's you right there. Yeah, it's not a good deal. So hold on just a second. All right, let's see if we can give you a <clears throat> good idea of. So if you look here, these threads are nice and clean, all right? Then we go back here, and these threads right those top ones right there they're not so clean if you can even see that so those top threads in here and then down on this side as well those top threads are rolled and that's why I can't get this cam cap installed back here so Again, I need to go find a tap that'll work, and I've gone through my taps, and I've got the proper threading, but I don't have the proper size, so that's what I need to do, is uh, find a tap with the proper size that'll uh, fit down in there. <clears throat> and so, there you have it, folks. That's where I'm at on this leaking. Fun, fun, fun stuff, but hey. At least we can get it fixed up, get it done, and it not cost people a ton of money. And, you know, like I said, uh, so long as I can feed the family, I'm a happy man. So uh, we'll just go from here. Well, hey, everybody, all my subscribers and people that watch me on YouTube, I greatly appreciate you coming out and hanging out with me, checking things out. I appreciate all your comments. I really enjoy uh, interacting with you guys. So thanks for all your support. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician. I'm signing off.